From futuristic cities to skyscrapers, Saudi Arabia is rapidly transforming its landscape through innovative and groundbreaking projects. The kingdom is now constructing an artificial river that will span more than 12,000 kilometers through its dry deserts, dwarfing the Nile in size and ambition. This colossal venture is not just about creating the world's longest underground canal, it's a groundbreaking endeavor to transform barren sands into fertile lands. Could this large-scale initiative transform the desert kingdom into an oasis of greenery and sustainability? If so, how exactly are they going to do it? In this video, we examine all these questions and more. Get ready for something truly amazing. The kingdom has always relied on oil as its economic backbone and desalination plants to meet its water needs because it lacks any natural rivers. However, recognizing instability of these solutions in long term, Saudi Arabia has decided to start a project that has the potential to completely change the way agriculture and water resource management in aid zones. The world's largest artificial river will be created as part of this groundbreaking project, an endeavor that is not only audacious in its scope, but also revolutionary in, in its approach. This man-made marvel, which will span more than 12,000 kilometers, will be built underground, the first of its kind on such a scale. With the use of cutting-edge desalination technology, the project is anticipated to generate 9.4 million cubic meters of water per day. This man-made river will receive its water supply from the Red Sea, converting salty water into fresh potable resources. The artificial river will navigate underground, designed to minimize evaporation losses, a critical consideration giving the desert's extreme temperatures. Its width and depth are designed to guarantee a continuous flow that can reach many locations throughout the country, including its most aid regions. Saudi Arabia intends to produce greenery on its barren areas in order to diversify its economy away from oil and lessen its reliance on food imports. To do this, it plans to introduce a sustainable and stable water source. With a width of 11 meters and a depth of 4 meters, this artificial waterway is poised to surpass the iconic Nile River in scale. Specialized anti-corrosion pipes with a 2.25-meter diameter will be incorporated into the project to enable the transportation of fresh water across long distances. The monumental ambition of the project is shown by the design of this pipe network, which is intended to be twice as long as the Nile River. This engineering marvel not only creates a new water source, but also reimagines water supply infrastructure on an unprecedented scale. The pipe system alone, if laid into end, could encircle the globe multiple times. Furthermore, it is impossible to ignore the financial consequences of such a large project. Significant funding will be needed for both infrastructure building and continuous maintenance. In order to secure the necessary funds, Saudi Arabia will need to ensure the project's financial sustainability and explore partnerships with international organizations and private investors. At the core of this endeavor is desalination, which is the process of removing salt and impurities from seawater using two main techniques, membrane desalination and thermal desalination. Each method has its unique process and application. As of now, the river project is still in its early stages and a concrete timeline for its completion has not been established. To evaluate the project's technical and financial sustainability, extensive research planning and feasibility studies are presently underway. The coming years will be critical for deciding the project's direction and securing the required funding and partnerships. Experts and the general public have expressed serious concerns about the project's feasibility, expense, and potential environmental effects. They argue that diverting water from the Red Sea could damage coastal areas and disrupt marine ecosystems. They also question the long-term sustainability of the river and its economic viability. Beside challenges, the project has the potential to redefine Saudi Arabia's landscape, address water scarcity, and stimulate economic growth. The kingdom's economy is heavily reliant on oil revenues, which poses risks due to fluctuating global oil prices and the world's gradual shift towards renewable energy sources. Recognizing these vulnerabilities, Saudi Arabia embarked on a mission to diversify its economy reduce its reliance on oil, and ensure a more sustainable future for its citizens. This is where the Artificial River Project comes into play by investing in such a vast and technologically advanced water resource management project. And that's the end of today's episode. If you enjoyed it, 
please click the like and subscribe buttons.